Welcome back. So it's time that we get you set up with your own developer environment so that we can get started writing our full stack JavaScript apps as soon as possible. Before we talk about the specific tools that we're going to use, I just want to do a quick recap of the workflow, not the concepts, but of the workflow from the last few videos. So everything starts with our server side JavaScript code. This is all the code that connects to the database and sets up our routes and starts the server. And then we run it in our terminal. In this case, this is how I start the server here. And then that starts my application. And then I have to go to my browser and visit the correct URL. And now I see the application running. So those three pieces, the text editor, the terminal to start the server, and then the browser to view the application are the three things that we need. And we're going to use a really, really awesome tool called Cloud9. I'm really excited about this. It's something that I wish I knew about when I was teaching this to students full time, when I was doing three month or six month courses, or even just you know evening workshops. This tool would have made a huge difference to my personal happiness because I spent countless hours helping students set up their development environments and debugging the incredibly painful and unique issues that arise when you have you know, 20 different students or 30 different students with different machines who have all tried installing different things in the past and following different tutorials. And some of them are on an old version of Microsoft and some of them are on the brand new version of Mac OS and some of them are on their own machines that they built. And it's really, really difficult. Even for a brand new machine that you haven't done anything to, people still run into problems installing all of this stuff. So that's one of the reasons I'm really excited about this. And before I go on to talk about the other one, let's talk about what it is. So what is Cloud9? The short version is that it's your complete developer environment, everything that you need to make a full stack application, whether it's in JavaScript, in Node, or if it's in Ruby with Rails or Python, it's your complete environment set up in the browser. So it has your text editor, it's, it's actually just like Sublime with the same shortcuts and everything. Um, it has your terminal where you run the server, where you can do anything that you would do on the terminal on your machine, but you do it in the browser. And then, <clears throat> so we'll be writing our complete applications in the browser rather than installing a terminal and possibly a virtual machine and installing node ourselves and NPM and every package that we need and mongoose, what we can do with cloud nine is just in a few clicks, we can create a brand new environment from scratch that has everything that we need in it. And we can start writing code in a matter of seconds. So that's really exciting. And this is something that's relatively new development in computing. Um, there are a few companies out there like cloud nine, and I don't want to sound like, you know, I'm a corporate shill for them. Um, the reason that we're using cloud nine over some of the other alternatives is that they have the best free plan and they care a lot about open source. Some of the other companies have a limit of one environment per person or per account until they start to charge you money. Cloud nine doesn't have that. I also happen to like it personally because you can alter the themes and make it look just like sublime and make your terminal look just the way that you want to. Another thing that I'll add in is that this is just as powerful as running it locally on your machine. So I don't want you to think that everything is actually running in the browser. What actually happens is that cloud nine has computers somewhere else that are running the code for us. So the browser that we see, and I'll actually show you what it looks like right here, this text editor, this is the terminal right here. This isn't actually running in the browser, which is a little confusing. Think of this as the interface and behind the scenes, when I run the server and I'll do that right now, node app.js, you can see it's just like the terminal. My app has started up and I can go visit my app. So this is the app. It's the, uh, the Yelp camp in progress. This is one of the earlier stages of it. And this is being served from my cloud nine terminal. But what that really means is that cloud nine has a computer somewhere else that has all of this stuff installed. It has node and express and mongoose and passport and everything that we need. And it has a server that's actually running this code here. And I'm visiting the web page that's being served by that server. 
really my only reservation about having this class use Cloud9 is that it's a little confusing at first how it actually works. Because I've spent so much time talking about the difference between front end and back end, and this almost seems to blend the two. But in reality, this is just an interface for typing all of our code and setting up our files. But the files are actually on a computer somewhere in a server that Cloud9 owns. Other than that little conceptual hiccup, I'm really excited to have us use this in this class for another reason, which is that it makes it so easy for me to share code and applications with you. Later in this class, our applications are going to get pretty complicated. They might have 50, 60, maybe even 100 different files. And if I didn't have something like Cloud9, I would probably have to compress everything into a zip and then upload that to the video and then you would have to download it after every lesson and then you'd have to install everything in order to use it again. And then every time I make changes, if I want you to be able to see the old version and the new version, and we, I have 20 different versions of an app, which will happen with our Yelp Camp app, we'll have lots of different versions as we progressively enhance it. Without Cloud9, you would have to download a new application every time to your machine and open up the files, unzip things. It would be pretty painful. With Cloud9, what I can do is actually share a workspace with you. So that means I can share the current state of all of my files here. I can share my terminal with you. I can share the app itself. So that's really exciting to me because it makes it easy for me to just share the state of my code. You can go in and look at every file without having to download 50 or 60 files every single time we do a new feature. So to summarize all of that, um, if you can't tell, I'm really excited that we're going to be able to use Cloud9. It's going to make my life a lot easier, your life much easier to get started, much less frustrating. Um, I've had to spend, in the past, days and sometimes even weeks trying to debug installation issues with students. And it's the number one thing that I've noticed will discourage a potential developer, someone who wants to learn, from actually following through and learning things. So Cloud9 will let us install things and set up an environment regardless of the type of computer you're on and the software that it's running and the chipset or whatever else there is, we'll get an environment set up that will be identical for all of us, which I'll introduce in the next video, but we'll get an environment set up instantly and then we can start writing code right away. And then also I can share my code with you really easily as well. So very exciting. In the next video, we're actually going to install our own environment.